Okay, so Eric, we heard that uh, number one, you're a good baker, and number two, you were the best dancer at Aiden O'Connell's wedding. Can you please respond? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think of myself as a man of many talents. Played, you know, left tackle, right tackle, and go out there and hit the dance floor, bake some cakes, you know, um, in my spare time. So, you know, they sat me and Gus right next to the dance floor, so obviously they had some <laughs> inkling of what was going to what was going to happen. So, uh, I'll gladly take those compliments. Any uh, any reason for the the shaved heads amongst uh, some of your teammates? <laughs> yeah, just trying to you know keep morale up. Obviously, camps are grind, so that was something Gus and I had talked about doing all summer. And I showed up on uh, report day, and sure enough, he was bald. So I went home and asked Payne if he would do it with me, and sure enough, you know, a couple other guys joined us. So we're just trying to you know keep the keep the mood up and keep morale going. So are, you, are you keeping it or are you? Uh, letting it grow back. You know, I think my plan is to let it grow all season, so we'll see. Not sure if there'll be many haircuts between now and the end of the year, so we'll we'll go the complete opposite direction. There's a big there's a big mustache trend too, right? What's yeah, up with that? I think Aiden definitely started that. He's been going with that for a while. Uh, JL even let him keep it for the wedding, so uh, you know, following in uh, the leader's footsteps. So we're trying to you know have a unified front on the uh, the mustache. So <laughs> you know, on the on the field, Eric. Uh, You've been obviously with the number ones at, at, at left tackle. You, you bring a lot, a lot of experience. Just, just talk about the development of the line so far in camp and maybe how good this unit could be. Yeah, I think uh, we have a ton of depth um, compared to, to what we've had in the past. I think we've been building that the last couple of years. We got a lot of guys who can play a lot of competition uh, between those first couple lines, and you know, it, it brings out the best in us every day. So I think. Uh, We've got a lot of guys who can play, uh, a lot of guys who have played a lot of football, like you mentioned, and then we've got some guys who have a lot of talent uh, who are going to show it in the games as well. Is this the most experience when you factor in the transfers that maybe the offensive line has had in a while? In a long time, I would say probably since 2018. Obviously, that was my first year here, and we had a lot of fourth and fifth year guys and some transfers then as well. So uh, bringing in guys like DJ and Sione who've played a lot of football, uh, brings a lot of knowledge to our group, and, and those guys are coming along as well. So I definitely think we have a lot of experience and, and more than we've had kind of in the past. Just your progress and development. Offensive linemen have to be patient because mm -hmm. they're usually redshirt, and they, you know, it, it's a long career for you guys. But just how, how's your journey been to get to this point where you are counted on as the, kind of an anchor on this line? Yeah, absolutely. It, it was definitely a five-year plan for me when I showed up. You know, I was 250-some pounds and wasn't really expecting to play. Kind of got thrown into the fire in 2019, a little bit more in 2020, and then kind of took a step forward last year and trying to take another big step forward this year. I uh, got a lot healthier in the off season. Had had the shoulder surgery and then had thumb surgery as well. So feeling the best that I have in a while um, and just uh, – a lot stronger, uh, I think. I did a lot more mobility uh, this off season because I couldn't lift as much. So trying to, to work on hip mobility, things like that, and just trying to, to work on uh, different ways to improve. What makes you and Spencer a good combo on the left side? I think uh, we work well together. Obviously, we had a couple games last year uh, working together, and I played a bunch of left tackle last year in and out of practice. So we've we've had those those practice reps, those game reps, and we kind of. Uh, you know, see things the same way uh, in terms of seeing what the defense is going to do, kind of have the, a similar level of experience in terms of knowing what they're going to do, uh, maybe who's coming off the edge, you know, are the backers coming, are they going to run a game, those kind of things. You know, the run game, um, I know you can't judge Purdue's ground game always solely just on total yards, but how, how much pride do you guys take in really trying to maybe Especially on third and one, mm -hmm. fourth and goal, red zone, running the football. And everybody in the stadium knows you got to run the ball and get one yard. Right. I mean, just talk about what that means to line the motivation it has. I want to show you guys are physically tough and do that. Yeah, obviously it's a point of pride for us. We want to convert those situations, and that's something we need to improve on. Uh, we've kind of taken a focus on that goal line short yardage in these last you know couple days, couple walkthroughs. Um, but for us, it's just got to be, like you said, about toughness and, and showing that we can get it done. You know, we've come up with different ways to run the ball, and I think you know we've we've schemed some things. But we want to be able to, to line up and run the ball. And obviously, our mo is going to be to, to throw the football around. But you know, we've got to keep everybody honest and be able to run the football as well. Obviously, last year going into the season, there were some question marks about this line, how it was going to come together this year. There, it, it seems more like it's going to be a very good unit. Where, what is the difference in expectations there, and what's the difference in mindset? Yeah, I don't know necessarily. We always think that we're, we're going to be pretty good, but you know, to have uh, other people think that is great, but you know, we've got to go out and prove it. So it's going to be 
us working together as a group of five, and then uh, you know the next guys in are gonna gonna be counted on as well. So we've got to be able to to work together, protect the quarterback, and and be able to run the football. So uh, we're looking forward to it, and uh, we're excited. How tough is it to keep a positive attitude when you're a Cincinnati Reds fan? <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> you know, I had I'll be honest, I hadn't watched a lot of Reds baseball in a while. You know, uh, but watch the Field of Dreams game and it's tough, you know, when they're down 3 nothing on the top of the first inning. But, uh, you know, we got some prospects, a couple trades, you know, it's always about the future. It's about the championship window with them, apparently, you know, so maybe we'll spend a little money, get some free agents, who knows. All-time favorite red. I'd have to go Adam Dunn, big donkey. Oh, wow. Nice.